Welcome back to BC Sports Cards, I'm BC. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a video response for Brian over at Hodges 1455. He's doing a contest giveaway over on his channel and he's giving away a 1966 Topps vintage card in an SGC slab. So very nice prize uh, for the giveaway. And he's asked us to do the video response on a pitcher who was a great hitter. And obviously I've selected Carlos Zambrano who uh, obviously played for the Cubs for most of his career. Uh, he had a 12 year career, 11 of those with the Cubs, and was a great hitter in my opinion. And I think he's considered one of the, one of the best hitting pitchers of all time, uh, at least in the top 15 or 20 I'd say. Uh, but he was actually a switch hitter, which you don't see very often in a pitcher. He's a right-handed pitcher, but he when he hit, he was a switch hitter. So. He could go both ways. Um, big, big guy. Uh, I'm not sure. He's probably around 6'4", 230, 240. Just a really big dude. And he he really gave it his all. Whether he was pitching on the mound or up at the plate hitting, he definitely gave it his all. And um, so basically in his career for hitting, um, he had 165 hits which is quite a lot in my opinion. He had a career average of 2 238, which is pretty good. Um, he actually hit 300 in 3 of the years he played for the Cubs. And so that's that's very good. Um, he hit 24 career home runs. That's a lot. I think the the record for a pitcher is 38. Um, so 24 is pretty good. He had 71 RBIs total in his career. Um, and like I said, he gave it his all. So he definitely was a free swinger. Um, you know, you think of players that are free swingers that were on the Cubs. Sammy Sosa was one. Um, most recently, Javier Baez, a free swinger. Just takes a healthy cut. <laughs> and Carlos really did. Um, he struck out 240 times. So... Um, that's quite a few strikeouts, but clearly when he got up to bat, he, he won to hit the ball out of the park for the most part. So he did win three silver slugger awards in his 12 years. Um, and another interesting fact is he was called on to pinch hit 20 times in his career. Um, that's, that's pretty notable right there. Cause you don't when you think of pinch hitters, you don't think of starting pitchers coming up to pinch hit, and those weren't always in you know extra inning games probably, but um, very great hitting pitcher. I don't have a lot of his cards because I didn't collect in the years. Uh, I didn't collect cards of the years he was playing, but I do have this card right here, which is one of my favorite cards in my collection. This came out of the I think it's 2022. I can't remember. It's out of uh, archives. It was out of, out of a hobby box. So i um, very glad that I pulled this card. It's on the 82 Tops Design on-card autograph. Uh, fan favorite auto. auto. So uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite cards. Um, I probably try to need to collect some more of his cards because he was one of my favorite pitchers. And he did, he did throw a no-hitter. Um, I'm not sure what year that was, but I definitely remember that. I don't have any specific memories of him him batting. Um, I just remember watching him when he played, and especially when he hit. He he basically was swinging for the fences and obviously was, was pretty successful as a pitcher with the 24 career home runs. So that's my video response. Brian, I appreciate the giveaway. Um, very generous and love your channel. Keep up the good work. Uh, that's the video. Um, leave me a comment down below what you think of Carlos Sombrano. You think he's he's one of the best hitting pitchers of all time, um, or who you think you're? Uh, who do you think was the best, in your opinion, hitting pitcher of all time? And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my videos. I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.